Hey, Danny K coming to you from Danny K General Wellness, and today's tip comes to you from a couple of people. Again, we have conversations here at the gym all the time, and um, you know we talk we talk about everything that that you know when we're working out and things that are going through our mind, and uh, you know a couple of um, you know emails messages that have come to me, and so I felt like I just wanted to do a tip on positive. Or negative are you positive or are you negative are you you know or the positivity versus the negativity um, you know basically my, my thing is it, it is definitely you know very 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 hard to be positive in some days some um, instances some situations um, maybe even it goes on for a couple of days that it's so hard to be positive but the key is to stay positive and you know no matter how hard that is if you're staying positive if you're looking for um, you know the good things or, or the positive things you know, like I said even if it's hard you know it, it might be hard to like point out one or two things like a couple of times you know one of my uh, my clients will come in and they'll be like in a grumpy ass mood blah, 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 you know and I'm like all right name three things that you're grateful for because we ain't doing nothing else until you turn that grumpy shit upside down and we start you know you know being you know and they're like well I don't know I don't have anything I'm like you're telling me as sure as you're standing there in front of me that you can't give me three things that you're grateful for I said how about you're walking how about you're upright how about you have a roof over your head how about you have a car that you just drove here how about you were able to walk from your car into the gym how about you know what I mean like and then they're like oh yeah okay so a lot of times even though they're small things like you know we think we, we but those are things that we need to be grateful for because we take certain things for granted and so if we think about the, the small things that we do take for granted and be grateful for those and and look at those as positive things then guess what we're gonna we're going to be able to see more positive things coming into and more positive things that we actually see and that we actually enjoy right so, you know, as, as hard as it is sometimes to look at those positive things or see positive things or, you know, whatever, because you're so like, you know, you're, you're depressed or, you know, sad or, or you know, just you're, you're sick or, or whatever it might be, whatever, whatever has you feeling down and in that bad or in that negative or whatever, you have to, you have, you have one, one, one of two choices. You can either stay stuck or you can think of and bust your ass, whatever you have to do, like pull strings, you know, wherever, but look at something that you're grateful for and you know, stop and be present and think about what am I happy? What am I grateful for? You know, um, and your eyesight, you know, you're able to talk, you're able to smell, you're able to walk, you know, I mean, those are things that we take for granted and we don't even look at those things as, Oh yeah, I am grateful for that. Well, we take for granted that we see every single day. So we don't even put that on our list, but we should put that on our list. And as we say, you know, the small things that you're grateful for that you've been taking for granted, then you you uh, you start thinking of all other things that you have in your life that you're that you're that you're thankful for. And then guess what? that shift changes and you're and you're positive I'm not saying that you're gonna be positive every single day of the minute every single minute of the day um, you, you know or whatever you're gonna have those situations those those things that are gonna frustrate you or whatever but you have one of two choices you can either stay there or you can find that mood shifter and change right because the thing is as hard as it is sometimes to find something positive but at least if you find something, anything, pull at strings to find something positive, whether, you know, you have 10 fingers on your hands, you're, you know, you're, you're thankful that you have 10 fingers. That's something to be grateful for, right? Even though it's like, it sounds stupid or silly or whatever, but the more things you find and you're positive and you're thankful for, you're moving forward in a positive direction, right? So think about that versus if you stay, if you're, if you're here in this negative and you are in that place, right? That sad place, that depressed place, that negative place, that frustrated place. And then you're, you stay there. Like if you're not thinking of anything and if you're not thinking of like those small things, your eyesight, your hearing, your fingers, your feet, your car, whatever. If you're not thinking of those things that you're positive and thankful for, then you're going to stay stuck here in this thing. So what's worse? 
having a, a, some hard times where you're trying to find something to be thankful for, but when you're doing that, you're moving forward or staying stuck. Like for me, I feel it's harder to stay stuck. It's harder to stay in that sadness because th the thing is, even though you feel like, ah, you're not moving, you are moving. You're moving downward, even, you know, even more so. So, you know, you keep that, it's that spiral, you know, you're just spiraling down, spiraling down the more you stay stuck in that place. So my thing for you is, um, you know, as we've had, you know, discussions today in the gym and, you know, typing through, you know, some discussions back to, you know, some of my, um, you know, like my wellness coach clients, that kind of thing, I have been trying to discuss with them to just, Oh my God, like they, they say there's nothing positive. Absolutely there's nothing positive in your life. There's absolutely nothing positive in your life right now. How about those that are watching this, you have a freaking iPhone or Droid, whatever, a, a Samsung, a Galaxy, whatever. You know, you, I mean, it, like I said, it sounds stupid, but at least you, you start focusing and finding those positive things and those things that you're grateful for and those things that you have that other people may not have. It, you call. I still have a couple of clients that have a flip phone, right? And they're like, oh, I can't get this, I can't get that, you know? So, I mean, it's just something silly. But, you know, I mean, in, in the grand scheme of things, there are so much things to be thankful for. I mean, take a step outside and look at the sky. You, you know what I mean? Like, be thankful for your eyesight to see the blue skies, the, the, the colors in the, you know, when the sun is rising or setting and, you know, the clouds, the formation of the clouds. I mean, like, again, it sounds stupid, but, or silly, or things that we just take for granted that, you know, oh, the sky is always there. Oh, I always have my eyesight. What if you don't have your eyesight one of these days? You know, what if you, what if you don't have an arm one of these days? What if you don't have a leg one of these days? So those things are not silly to be thankful for. So, and the more things that you're thankful for, and you know, and the more that you, you'll, you'll see more things that you're thankful for, you'll be brought more things that you're thankful for, and you'll be more on a positive plane, and you'll learn to get yourself out of that negative, like, you know, like I said, you're gonna have, you're gonna have frustrated days, you're gonna have sad days, you're gonna have sad times, minutes, negative times, negative minutes, negative days, whatever. But the thing is, hello, the thing is, do we stay there? What's worse, staying stuck or drudge trying to figure out something that you're thankful for like you know for me it's harder to stay down here than to think of a couple of things you know that I'm thankful for yesterday I posted um, three things that you know like there was, it was a chapstick a, a, a bottle tab I mean a, ca a can tab and a rock so you know and I posted on there like th things that you know random things I have in my pocket well I have this rock right and I keep it in my pocket and it's silly, but guess what? It is a constant reminder. Sometimes people put like a little string around their finger or whatever, but it's a constant reminder for me. Every time I go into my pocket and I feel that and I start to myself and I say at least two or three things that I'm thankful for. And that changes my mindset. That gets me, you know, going. Um, it, it, or And or keeps me staying on that positive, happy, place you know um, and, and it's hard sometimes I'm not I'm not gonna lie like a lot of times it's hard to to, to get that energy to stay up and be positive and, and, and stuff all that time however again like I said before it's a lot harder to stay stuck and stay in that negative mean sad depressed area than it is to get up out and just just say three things that you're thankful for and I, I trust I mean trust me and I promise that when you start doing that, you're gonna start seeing different things that are gonna be changing and just in your attitude alone, you know? I mean, you know, because we start, we focus on all this negative stuff. So if you start focusing on the, the good and not pay attention to the negative, we get what we focus on. You know, we speak about, we bring about what we speak about. So when we speak about all this negative, sad, depression, I don't have this, I don't have that, I don't have that, that's what we're going to get more of, things that we don't have, right? So leave that alone. Like, don't think about those things that you don't have. Like, if you don't have them, either one, you're not supposed to, or two, change it, get it. And if you can't, 
then just think about the things that you do have. You, you know, I mean, like, again, they have this, this saying that, um, you know, the past, present, and the future. Okay, so if you're anxious about something or just anxious in life in general or whatever, you're focusing on your future. Like, you're just staying like, oh, my God, what if? What, what, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Now, if you're depressed, you're focusing on your past. I should have done this. I should have done that. Why didn't I do that? Right? So try and stay focused on your present. Like be, be in, in present time right now. And, you know, you, you can't change what's in the past. You know, sometimes, you know, we might be able to like, we look forward, you know, we look to the future of certain things that we want, you know, whether it's, you know, a college degree or, you know, a, 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 a position higher than where we're at now in our job or, or we want a new car, you know, so those are, those are things that you set forth a goal. So yes, you're looking into the future, but you're trying to set a goal. And so right here in the present, what can you do to make that goal happen? right but don't think about like oh my god well what if what if that party doesn't work out well what if that doesn't work out well well I'm gonna plan this and and what if that what if nobody shows up like that's what I'm talking about as far as like thinking about the future and being anxious right so think about the present be present and just be in within yourself and what's happening now and be grateful for what's going on now and you'll be more positive than negative and again it, it, negative things are going to happen bad things are going to happen sad things are going to happen but we have two choices we can either choose to be negative and stay stuck or we can choose to fight be positive think of those three things that you know are or that we're grateful for and watch that change our attitude you know again if you have to if you have to get i, I got a cool little rock like it's so smooth it's round like, I don't know, it's, I don't know, it's, it's like real thin, it's like a little pebble, and it looks real cool, it's real smooth, and, and actually, it just kind of makes me smile when I sit there and rub it, you know, just because it's, it's, the texture of it's really cool, right? So, whatever you have to do to kind of make you, like, think of, you know, when you get in that yuck place, you know, think of a mood shifter or have a mood shifter in your pocket or, or have a picture of a mood shifter and then start saying a couple of things that you're grateful for or thankful for or whatever. Get out of that negative, like stop staying in that negative um, because everybody's got shit. Everybody's got shit going on. Um, I had someone, um, you know, this morning when we were talking, um, you know, and, and they're going through hell. They are going through hell, not a doubt. And I'm, I pray for them every single day. I truly, truly do. There's a lot of people that I do pray for just as, as friends, but just as also people that are going through, you know, health things and just stuff like that. However, you know, when I broke it down and I said, look, it, you know, I, I understand where you're at and, and it's, it's not all, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, paint the best picture and the, and the glorious that everything is always, you know, roses and rainbows and butterflies, you, you know, and everybody should always be happy. I'm not saying that. However, when you're faced with something, you know, it's 10% of what happens to you, 90% of how you react to it. You know, now some of you may know, I did lose my mom. I lost my mom to lung cancer. I was there and I saw her take her last, bre last breath. I called the time of her death. It, it, you know, I had to call hospice. I saw them come take her, the shell of her body out in a body bag and walk her down the stairs, carry her out of the stairs, down the stairs. I saw all of that. Y you know what I'm saying? So don't tell me that I don't know horrible shit because I've dealt with a lot of horrible shit in my life, you, you know, but it's, you, you know, how do you, how you react to it, you, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I mean, I dealt with the most horriblest thing ever that I could ever freaking imagine, and I wish that not on anyone, but did I let that keep me down and you know no I mean everything I do and y'all know I do really for life I found a way to fight and be positive and make something out of a positive is it was 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 my mom's death a positive hell to the nizzo it was a freaking negative it, you know what I mean like did I want to just crawl up in a ball and die as well yes I did however I find that 
that's not an option, obviously. You know what I mean? Like, well, it could be. You've got two choices in life. Now, if I chose the, 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 the negative portion of that, my mom would come back and pop me on the back of the head and, you know, what the hell are you doing kind of thing. So I took everything and tried to make it a positive. So yes, my mother's death is, is a very big negative, but I took a positive. I do Relay for Life. So I'm trying to raise all kinds of money so that other people don't lose their moms the way I did. So other people don't have to see what I saw. So other people don't have to go through what I went through. See what I'm saying? So yes, I know negative. I know sadness. I know darkness, okay? So, and I'm not trying to say that I'm better than anybody else or anything like that. I'm just trying to show that, you know, as you all see me laughing and goofing and ladybugs crawling down the wall and all that good goofy stuff, you know, I'm just trying to look at all the positive things, focus on the positive, focus on what I want and not give any birth and not give any life to the negative bullshit that's going on, right? So it, it, whatever, whatever you're dealing with, you know, it, and it's, it's, it's everybody's, everybody has a situation. Everybody has a, a down, everybody has negative, everybody has sadness, everybody has darkness. So we can either choose to focus on that or we can focus on the things that we want. So if you focus on what you want, that's what you're going to get. So, you know, allow yourself to grieve or allow yourself to have that negative or that sad or that depression or whatever, but just don't stay there is basically what I'm saying. Find something that helps you find a mood shifter of some sorts, positive, write down three things. Every time you feel in that, in that spot, in that negative spot, in that anger or in that frustration or in that sadness or in that darkness, find three things that you're thankful for. Even maybe make a list that sometimes when you're down there, you can't really think straight, right? So make a list of things that you're thankful for and then pull that list out and start reading it and saying it out loud. I trust you or trust me. I promise you that it will work and help pull you out of that even for a couple of minutes isn't that better isn't that better to be out of that darkness for a couple of minutes than to stay there because you're just gonna stay stuck and and get forced more down get yourself out right choose positive positive right so anyway I'm gonna leave you with speak on the things that you want okay um, and you know just think positive think about things that you're thankful for um, and, um, you know, just remember what you speak about, you bring about. So positive. So everybody listening, watching, just write at least one thing that you're thankful for. Just kind of give me something, one thing that you're thankful for. Let me see it. So let's start the list off awesomely, right? All right. So stay in tune, stay informed, stay motivated. Bye.